You know, a lot of uh, local films have been made about the 60s, especially SG-50 yeah. just passed, right? So all the 60s movies. The 70s is a period that is hard, seldom covered. And especially the early part of the 70s, uh, not the disco era, which is later. This is, the, this is like just coming out of our independence. Uh, so I thought it was a, it was a quite tough time for, for kids. And I wanted to portray that. Honestly, I wished it was my era. I love the, the fashion and, and honestly, I feel like the, the set design and, and the wardrobe and the hair, like they all kind of came together to kind of really replicate that kind of vibe. Like I wasn't, I, I didn't live through the 70s, but I think I got a good idea of, of what it's like. Yeah, and I mean... You, weren't, you were not even an egg. <laughs> <laughs> not to twinkle in anybody's eyes. <laughs> not yeah. even. Don't think your parents were they really married then? Not even. Um, I don't think. I think yeah, they were. Not yet. Were they born? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they were. Yeah, they were born. I, I actually want to show that the times may have been different, but every. The situations were the same, teenagers were the same, mm -hmm. mother-son relationship were the same. Mm -hmm. They had not changed, it's just that it was just... I think that the era is portrayed a little bit more by the boys. Because they are out, they are out and uh, doing their thing and, and you know, running from police and all that. But for the girls, it, it's pretty much, I think, similar. Actually, what yeah, we went through in school is probably exactly, almost the same, like <laughs> yeah. what was in the movie. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it can relate to anyone growing up at the, at the state, in that stage, you know. Like uh, rebellious, you know, I think school days um, and friends and love. And so I think it relates to everyone. So it's not too bad. Yeah. I think the only thing different is the, the costume, like yeah. the era. The Which actually, look at her, she's in the 70s. Yeah. Look at her. Yeah. Yeah. It all comes back. inspired me were people like Vernon. Vernon was a very popular um, musician in the 60s. So when I was a child, the Singapore music scene was bigger than the international music scene. Local bands were much more popular. They, were, they had screaming fans running after them. You know? And then in 1967 to 69 when the NS came in, all the bands stopped. The whole music oh. industry died. So as a child, I was inspired by them. But when I was old enough, the whole scene had died. There was no more band, no more music industry. And because of NS, I mean, you're not blaming NS, but because NS, the long hair thing came in. Mm -hmm. And the long hair became associated with drugs. And then if you are long hair and you play a guitar, that confirmed drug addict. So playing guitar became taboo. Like my parents were nervous when I you know, because I learned piano classical, then I started to play pop music, they got worried because they thought I would take trust. And I did! <laughs> so actually, it's a lesson that I want, you know, like my character goes through, it has huge flaws now. I mean, I was a brat, I was a monster, I mean, you know, it was, I was a rebel in my own way, I mean. But um, I learned from that and I, that's what, you know, talking about what I went through and all that. If I don't show that, you don't see the journey. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't see what I went. I had to be bad to learn how to be good. Mm -hmm. um, there actually is is a lot, um, but I don't didn't want to make it a preachy film, yeah. and I'm showing it through my experience. I I won't say that everybody went through this experience. Um, you know, because I have, I mean, not everyone became a musician. But I wanted to also show because, you know, 44 years later, I'm still a musician. So it started there. A lot of people don't know. And in our test screenings, there were people who said, Oh, I didn't know Life Story is from 1974. Or Fried Rice Paradise. So I think most people didn't realize. And they also didn't realize it was banned. You know, and I had to go through government restrictions all through my life, you know. So this is what I want to show. Born today, some years ago, and had, I had a very limited filming time. Yes. And you know, every day, remember how many scenes we had to do in mm -hmm. one day? Mm -hmm. So I had to make sure that actors were ready. So I did a lot of prep. 
I, I got, we had readings like twice. Yeah, script reading. So that they would know their character. We had individual sessions with this the actors so just to, yeah. mother and son, I think you met Ben too. I just wanted them to, to you know, to find their, their characters before we went to Penang. So actually when, I must say I was very impressed. All of you were ready. We did very few takes, huh? we're not the hundreds mm -hmm. of takes. Mm -hmm. Because they were ready and they knew the character. So that's the theatre part. And the detail part maybe. Mm -hmm. But I think that Dick was also very encouraging, especially for us as, as new actors, uh, going on to set, especially a movie set, uh, for the first time can be very intimidating. So Dick would always tell us like, oh, I think you know th this was good, this was good. And I remember there was one time, you actually pulled me to the side and then you showed me an old picture of your sister. And then you're like, you look exactly like her. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, huh? And then I saw, okay, about, Wow, there was actually like a bit of similarity. I think we were both yeah. quite chappy at the point in time. <laughs> yeah, so I, I found that like, um, because I had some trouble in the beginning. You yeah. remember my first yeah. day, I was very nervous. She, she asked the most questions. I asked a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah and, but Dick was always very encouraging about the whole experience. But it must have been very hard for you all because I'm there. You are playing my, my mother, not, uh, mm -hmm. uh, not like someone's mother. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm actually there and and you're playing my sister as, and you know that you have a lot to live up to mm. la, because you know I, I, the, you know it's my story and I'm just standing there so every time after one take <laughs> I, right, I, will, I, will, I will look at look at him or how's his reaction yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that result? actually I think it's, it's good that you're de there because yeah. like it's like a reference point for us yeah. you, know? you will be able to correct us that and make sure that it's but I didn't correct too much yeah. did I? no I didn't not, not much of that hardly in fact that goes on forever with each breath that I take. This is my.